Joining us via Skype is the former chairman of the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, Buka Kiari. Thank you for joining us on the news. You're welcome. All right, so you must have heard the news of the northern states opting out of imposing any kind of lockdown. Um, what version of this did you hear and what might be the reason for it? Uh, well, the disturbing fact is that the Northern Governors Forum made a statement some days ago um, in terms of not fully participating in the lockdown. But since then, a lot of things have changed. Of course, the very first governor that actually announced lockdown was Kaduna State, uh, even before they, um, they had uh, a single case in the state. And obviously, Kano uh, had been denying until it hit them hard. So right now, I believe there are cases in at least seven or eight northern states. And uh, this is something that one cannot bury one's head in the sun and uh, wish things away. One has to prepare for it. Uh, in addition to that, uh, as uh, anybody in Nigeria knows, the Human Development Index for the country as a whole is amongst the lowest in the world. Two, poverty uh, in, the, in, in Nigeria is one of the, um, the, the most prolific location for poverty in the country is the northern part. Uh, lower level of human development uh, and all of the, those actually exacerbate the situation. So pre prevention is better than cure. And so taking steps very early on is crucial in um, uh, at least, if nothing else, mitigating uh, the oncoming uh, uh, pandemic uh, in that part of the country. Does all of this not send out a wrong signal at a time when we are looking for a united front against this uh, deadly, not potentially, but deadly uh, pandemic in this country? Uh, indeed, uh, so social distancing, washing of hands, and all the things that um, NCDC has been advocating for, the presidential task force on every day, every day that they address the nation, indicate the basic things that need to happen. And in addition to that, some state governors, particularly the one in Lagos, have been coming out on a daily basis, um, educating and raising awareness of people, uh, and encouraging those things. And, uh, you know, number one, Nigeria's healthcare system in general is among the weakest in the world. It's, if not um, uh, at the bottom, uh, you know, 20% of the world. Uh, Africa as a whole is going to face this um, precarious, we are in a precarious situation when it comes to healthcare delivery system. And within Nigeria, Northern Nigeria is at a higher disadvantage than the rest of the country. So we should, uh, in Northern Nigeria, the leaders, the governors need to actually uh, uh, bring in the traditional rulers, the religious leaders, in um, raising awareness of this uh, pandemic and sensitize uh, the general population of what can uh, encourage transmission what are the things that one needs to do to mitigate uh, the, 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 the pandemic? Because it is here, it's, it's here. And the, th the deadly thing about this disease is that it, um, a good percentage of people are asymptomatic, meaning that they do not show any signs of illness. And that is very deadly because it means that people that are walking and doing things normally are actually not healthy enough and therefore one has to be extremely cautious you have to behave as if you carry it and when you meet somebody you should also assume that that person is a carrier as well so right, uh, it's a let's... the double whammy in a sense really all right let's look at the um, long-term um, challenges and possible solutions uh, there's been this repeated uh, statement uh, you even alluded to it that the not has a weak health care system. What is truly responsible for this? And how, in the short and long term, can the government begin to make an effort to address this? 
Uh, well, in the, in the short term, we need to actually scramble and invest uh, very heavily in buying um, uh, buying equipment, uh, you know, PPEs, uh, masks, and uh, so on and so forth for the frontline healthcare workers, as well as equip our, uh, uh, order the medications, the test kits, uh, the laboratories that are needed to conduct tests. For example, in the north, up until the one in Kano was open, there was not a single test, sent, uh, test laboratory in the north, uh, except for bringing everything down to Abuja. Now, if there are, uh, uh, if the rest of the laboratory uh, laboratories that have been planned are open and it is dealt with, the the other secret to this um, pandemic is test testing, testing, testing. And so, if more of these uh, centers are opened and equipped, then we would be in a position to know where we stand vis-a-vis -vis the total number of infected people and even the rate of infection going on. Right now, we are kind of flying blind, and as such, even the numbers we are reporting may be grossly understated. I hope we are doing in, in, enough tests in the country to actually cater uh, for some of the numbers we see, because uh, it is still very early with only with less than 500 people uh, confirmed cases uh, in the entire country. Of course, in the north, outside of uh, FCT, Kano is becoming a hot spot, so to speak. And the index case that brought the um, uh, uh, COVID-19 to Kano uh, um, it, it was just a one person, and now there are, uh, I believe, uh, double-digit uh, confirmed cases in Kano alone. Okay, um, let's um, take a step away from the north for a second and look at a general state-by-state uh, -state, um, method of addressing our concerns when it comes to the COVID-19. Is this a good thing? Does it have drawbacks such as presenting a weak link where the prevention policies are not robust enough from um, these states and counters the work that the federal government um, is doing? Um, the most important thing actually to do is to do it on a unified front because if there is any, um, any uh, difference in terms of the strategy on uh, mitigating uh, this uh, uh, pandemic will basically make the weakest link will basically be the where the chain will break. So what we need to do as a nation is to have a concerted, unified uh, strategy for the whole country. Of course, someone will argue that, well, since we do not have it in our state, we should be allowed to move around. And in all honesty, that's not what it is. It, it may be that they have it, we just don't know that they have it. Because Nigerians are extremely mobile people up until the airports were closed. Um, you know, on, on any given day, hundreds of thousands of people move from state to state and by road, naturally. So you cannot block the movement of people. And therefore, if there is just one person moving from one state, uh, a hotbed state, say, say, say Lagos, going to Kano or going to Borno state, will basically become a carrier that might go and infect. So if we are going to attack this uh, situation, or we, if we are going to fight this war, it has to be done uh, uh, on a national basis. And the strategy of the presidential task force should actually be national in nature, national in outlook, and uh, possibly even encourage the presidency to involve all the governors. There should be at least um, uh, a briefing sessions with the governors uh, on a periodic basis by the presidential task force, such so that everybody is aware, everybody is doing their bit uh, in terms of raising the awareness. Because this is a disease that if enough information is given and people are encouraged to behave a certain way, we could mitigate it, we could reduce the spread until such a time when a vaccine uh, is discovered. All right. Uh, just before we let you go this morning, I would like to um, 
take your thought on the issue of balancing plain politics and providing effective leadership at this time uh, of crisis? Um, this is not a time for politics or political games. Um, this is clearly a time when uh, the nation needs to rally around the leadership and also the leadership should be open enough to listen to what people are saying in terms of giving them the uh, that actually help okay. us and move ahead. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on the news.